This assignment should be much easier because we've already used this site a little bit. So what assignment we're doing is the line graph practice. Okay, so I'm going to come into my line graph practice assignment. Um, if I need the video or the data sheet because I've been absent, that's where I'm going to find it. And instructions on how to submit are also there. So first I need to navigate my way to the graphing website. So I can do that from the agenda slide easily. I should link it in the assignment too, and I will. I'm going to click on the graphing site. Today we are doing line graphs. Okay. Again, nothing on the design change. Do not change this stuff. You can make a background color that's light if you want. Okay. But where we're headed mainly is this data tab. Once at this data tab, you know we need to enter the title from our worksheet. So in this case, it was strep, toe, caucus, bacteria, growth, and if you're being proper, you should capitalize each letter in the title, per, or except per, and then we're going to do mass behind there just like it looks on the worksheet. And then my x-axis, it tells me, is time, always on the x, and then always a unit, this measured in hours. And then this is going to be our mass of streptococcus bacteria is what we're measuring. And this, we also need a unit, milligrams. Okay, The source is nothing. Items, if we count how many items we have in our data table, one, two, three, four, five, six, and our worksheet says six, so that's how many we have. Since we only have one line, I only need one group. Group label, I can copy my Y value and paste it. Okay. Line width, fine. Shape, fine. Point size, fine. You can change the color if you want. Um, and change the color. And you can change those values. And then here down here at the bottom is where we're typing our labels. So on the item label, this is my X axis, always is my items. These are my hours. So according to my data table, these are your independent value, uh, independent variable as well. It's what's not fluctuating. So my hours are consistent. Those are not changing. Always going to be zero through five. My value, my y-axis, is the number that's fluctuating. My dependent variable, depending on time, will change. So these are the numbers that I'm going to enter on my y-axis off my data table. So again, item label is always your x. Value is always your y. My minimum is always set at 0. Your, uh, your x or uh, max value needs to be above your highest number in your data table. And I always say make sure it's like the 5 or the 10 above. So with 26 being our highest number, we could go to 30 or 35, okay? If it was like the 19, we could probably go to 20 or 25 would be even better. So let's go to the your max value. So we're going to set, we said at 30 or 35. Let's go with 30 according to the worksheet. Going to hit update. Okay. And then I'm going to preview it to make sure it looks right. As we can see, it's going all the way up to 26. My graph ends at 30, above 26. That looks nice. I've got X and Y label. Everything has labels and values. It looks perfect. So I'm going to go to the Print Save tab. I'm going to choose Download. Remember, this is not a screenshot. We're changing the file value to JPG, and we're clicking Download so that it downloads the JPG. And then we're going to come to the assignment, practice line graph. We're going to type our name, practice line graph. And then we're going to insert with the file button right above the word post our file from our downloads. Yours might be in recents. It's always going to be called graph something. And then when I click post, I should be able to see the picture just like this. So my name, practice line graph, and then my picture should be below it. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.